All right, so we're gonna do something a little bit different this time. I'm using my uh, my little uh, what should we call it? A little uh, filming arm, and I gotta learn to keep the gotta learn to keep the camera out here. So we're gonna film this a little bit differently today. I'm about to share with you something that I haven't shared with a lot of people, unless you've been on my live streams or on our Discord. Then uh, this is not really a spoiler to you. Uh, but uh, yeah, come with me into the equipment room, and I'll show you what it is I'm talking about. And there you go. This is what I'm talking about right here. This little varmint. Yeah, that's the uh, Dell PowerEdge R730. So, for those of you that thought Sakura got me to spend all my money on that AMD Epic, you were dead wrong. <laughs> I also, uh, I found a deal on this PowerEdge R730. I got this thing for, I think, under 200 bucks. It was a hell of a deal. I couldn't pass it up. It's dual CPU, uh, 32 gig, or 64 gig of RAM in there, E5 2620 CPU. Now, I'm, I'm going to be upgrading that. I'm going to be doing some other upgrades to this, including new power supplies. We're going to put uh, an SSD in there. I'm going to put, uh, uh, I've got already been testing some spinning rust drives, some 600 gigabyte drives I had laying around, and I've got some uh, SSDs we're going to try in here as well. Just been kind of testing it out, and there are going to be some other big surprises to what's going into this thing. So. Uh, let's go over to the bench and I'll show you what she looks like on the inside and I'll talk to you about what I've been doing So here we are back on the bench and uh, this is when I first received the unit. I was pulling the power supplies out <clears throat> Just kind of show you what it came with so it came with dual 750 power supplies which should be enough for what I wanted to do, but Sakura did remind me I wanted to have two high-end Tesla video cards in here, so off I went to the interwebs to order two 1100 watt power supplies and it wasn't that bad. They were like $29 or 35 bucks for a set of matched, well, I assume they're matched 1100 watt 80 plus uh, power supplies. <clears throat> and you know, parts for these used Dell servers are just, they're so, they're everywhere to be found if you look for them. So. Uh, I, like I said, I just went on the internets and the Ebays and ordered it from uh, a seller, reputable seller, and uh, uh, yeah, it's been years since I've been screwed on eBay. But anyway, I put them in, plugged them in here, I guess that's what I was doing, and decided to give them a little test, you know. Something about the Dells you may not know, you need to plug them in and let them just kind of sit and simmer for about 10 minutes after they've been unplugged a while, just so they can... Uh, kind of get their bearings and uh, I had to find another power cord that was part of the problem so I found one and, and uh, then I decided it was time to uh, plug her in and see how she did and she did fine and then it was time to play around with video cards now just so you know the whole chain of events here the plan is to put two Tesla P40 video cards in here but I didn't have two of them I only had one I had a P40 and an M40. And for the P40, I had the correct wiring. Uh, I had the correct uh, electrical cord in there for the to power the video card, because they use a different type of power. And um, for the other one, the M40, I did not. So I we were having trouble getting the M40 to work, and the system wasn't real stable. And so I decided, well, I don't really plan on having this card in there, so we'll take it out. And that card is now, that's the one I'm taking out now, that is now in the the uh, AMD Epic machine, and it's working fine. Uh, got a different uh, power cord in there. So I decided while I was in here, I got the CPUs in, so I ordered two new CPUs for this, and I'll flash them up on the screen here in a second if I can remember. <clears throat> so I'm taking out the, uh, the heat sinks, you know, I go in a crisscross pattern to loosen the bolts up. I go about five turns, go to the next corner, five turns, the next corner, etc., until the device comes off. 
And then very carefully I was looking at the CPUs that came with it and went and got some isopropyl alcohol. I used 91% isopropyl alcohol and I wanted to take the chips out before I cleaned them because I didn't want that goop getting all over the, you know, perhaps getting underneath the, the chip and getting into the socket. So I very carefully, you got to be careful with these so you don't damage the CPU sockets because those pins are easily bent. Take it from me, I know what I'm talking about. And uh, put the new CPUs in and then uh, uh, should see me putting them in here in just a second. I ordered them. I think it was two CPUs for, I don't know, I'll have to check the price. And if I remember, I'll flash it up here on the screen so you can see it. But again, I went to the eBay and and with uh, Sakura's help, I uh, found some uh, CPUs that were compatible, ordered them, put them in. And uh, I'm happy to say they work like a charm. So now it was just, now I went ahead and kept the memory it came with in hindsight. It only had 64 gig of RAM. I'm cleaning the CPUs here, even though they're new, new used, to make sure that the, you know, there's no residual yuckiness or grease left on them. And then I'll put new grease on them so that the heat sinks can transfer their heat, or the CPUs can transfer their heat to the heat sinks. So put it back on. Now I only ordered this with 64 gig of RAM, and Sakura tried to talk me into getting 128, and I just, you know, whether I listened or not, or I just thought, well, I'll do it later. 64 is more than I'll ever need, or we heard that before. And uh, so there you go. I've got the CPU coolers on. Now I got to get them back on there. That's the tricky part is getting those screws started and applying the right pressure and all that gobbledygook. And then you need to put the air baffle in, and then you can start putting uh, components back into the unit. But I evidently forgot that there needed to be an air baffle in there to keep those components cool. You see there's a whole row of fans back there. You'd see my SSD in there poking out where the CD-ROM drive should be. And that's just a boot, uh, a boot uh, uh, SSD drive. Uh, and I do have some data drives and we'll cover that here in a minute. And then I decided it was time to put my Tesla back in, my P40. When I do have the correct cable for and then I realized oh you idiot the baffle you forgot the baffle so in goes the baffle and then eventually the video card will be reinserted where it belongs and uh, all will be well with the world so yeah so it was at this point I uh, had an offer from a, uh, a subscriber on an another Tesla P40 video card so um, I put the M40 back in. That was this was about the time we realized that that card was probably not going to do what we needed it to do. Um, even though I reassembled everything carefully and thought I had the cable hooked up right, one of the cables was wired wrong. I just didn't know it at the time. So first off, thanks to Dracora for uh, selling me this card. And this card is, of course, the Tesla P40. What other card would I be interested? In? I seem to have some unhealthy obsession with these cards anyway the uh so here's the dell 730 just so y'all can see i'm not joshing and yes it is full of 600 uh gigabyte hard drives etc etc we'll change those as we go and we've got an ssd in here kind of loose just so i can boot on serves in great condition i've already got one tesla p40 in here right here and then, uh, so thanks, like I said, to Dracoro. I just want to make sure this thing is seated right. Seems a little cattywampus in the slot. All right, so here we go. So now I've got the card in. So now I have two Tesla P40s um, in this Dell R730. And um, I've also upgraded the power supplies in this, so it has two 1100-watt uh, power supplies, which should handle the load just fine um, now it'll be interesting to see what these what these cards idle at when I'm not doing anything with them uh, and of course I've got Proxmox loaded on this of course what else would I load and now I got a couple of hmm, I got a couple of slot covers I need to find a home for and uh, for those of you that don't know or didn't see my rack cleanup video yeah we got we're starting to slowly get stuff organized in here. 
got the little uh, transceiver on the wall to convert from fiber to 10 base T or to Ethernet. Got my rack all squared away, everything's tied up out of the way. So, the next thing to do is get the cover back on this and then fire it up and see if the card works and put it under, uh, put it under load, make it do some stuff. So this ought to be fun. Now you're probably wondering why this machine is in here in the equipment room. Well, it's in here because it has those two P40 Tesla video cards in there and the thing gets a little warm and it gets a little loud when you're running uh, stuff like easy diffusion, stable diffusion, that kind of thing on these video cards. And I use them because they're, they're ideal for that purpose for what I'm using AI for right now. So I find it's just easier to keep it in here with the Lenovo and then I've got a fiber link running back to the rack so that it has a 10 gig connection along with the Lenovo that's stored below it. And uh, this is just a good place for it right now. I don't need the storage room right now for batteries as I haven't bought any new batteries and probably won't be for a month or two uh, until I'm ready to, to purchase my uh, big battery that I'm going to build. So for right now this is a really good place for this uh, 730 to reside. We have really put it through its paces. There's going to be some other videos coming out on this, what I end up using this for. It's going to be for lab work, for AI work, all kinds of neat stuff. And I'm so happy I finally got two uh, Tesla P40s in there. One of those I had. The other one, thank you to the uh, subscriber, uh, to James. You know who you are, who uh, made me a hell of a deal on one of those uh, P, uh, P40 Teslas. Uh, did I say P4 Teslas or P40s? 24 gig P40 Tesla video cards. Yeah, um, hey, you're supposed to be following my face. Hey, this, this is what you're supposed to be following, this. So, yeah, a lot more videos coming up on that uh, server. I just thought we'd film it a little bit differently today. I'm trying to get used to this, uh, to this, uh, what do they call this? I don't even know what they call this thing. I'm so old, I've forgotten what they call it. I'll find the box here and tell you about it. And I'm not going to do a video on this thing because... Everybody and their mother does a video. I like doing tech videos on stuff I'm using in my uh, home lab. I, don't, I mean, eight or nine. This is a DJI Osmo Light or something like that. But it, basically, it's something to help me do videos a little bit better. It has face tracking software in here. I can, you know, it, it follows me around wherever I turn my head, this kind of thing. Um, and, it, you know, really good camera quality. And it's just one less thing I have to futz with so I can in theory set this thing down on a table and it will just track my face let's let's test that theory and then I can combine I can combine this Dell video into a video about this uh, this uh, machine I've got here and I forget the name of it so but yeah I don't think it's tracking me what do you think no I don't think it's tracking me at all uh, here we go yeah, I don't know if I had the face tracking on. I thought I'd just press this button and then point it at what I want to track. No, maybe not. No, I don't know. Maybe is it, oh, there we go. Now it seems to be tracking. Yeah, now it's working. It's amazing. So yeah, it's like having a cameraman at my beck and call and I don't know where to look for the camera. So part, I think it's right here on the front. Is it right there? Yeah, that's where I need to look. So forgive me, I haven't gotten used to using this thing yet, but it's going to make my life a lot easier because I can put this thing on the little tripod thingy here. I can't even find the box for it right now. Yeah, it's a DJI Osmo. I'll pop the link up or something. But anyway, it's going to help me make better videos and uh, a little more free form, so I'm not so formal sitting behind a desk all the time. But there's the Dell R730. I have said I wasn't going to get one, and I went ahead and got it uh, because I need a Dell R730. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to put it out in the rack here, though, because I like my peace and quiet, and this rack is its nice and quiet right now, even with all these servers. And I'd rather have the heat being added back there than up here. You know what I'm saying? So I hope you found this video entertaining. You know what? It's like I'm looking up here. Okay, track my face now, okay? But it's like, it doesn't do it. All right. So anyway, we hope you found this video entertaining and informative as always. Uh, please give us a like down below. Leave your comments down in the comments section. 
and uh, donate if you're so inclined. PayPal, Patreon, YouTube join function. See, it's not tracking right. It should be keeping like me in frame. I'm gonna have to figure this software out. Anyway, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos when they come out. Thanks again for coming to see us, and please don't forget we'll see all of you on the other side. I've been watching old Uncle Joe. Texas heat to where the cacti grow Fix and service solar power in the land Hoping that his plans all stand Making life a touch more bright Underneath those southern lights